Five weeks ago, you saw me purchase this car at the Meekum Auto Auction. The problem was there's a check engine light on in this car. Now, the other problem is if I was in New Hampshire, I have a mechanic. Here, now that I live in Florida, I do not. So you will be seeing me personally fix cars for the first time in quite some time. I can guarantee you there's gonna be some swear words. I have very little patience when repairing cars, but I do have a really amazing scan tool that's gonna help me along the way, diagnose this vehicle, figure out what's wrong with it, and hopefully fix it so we can sell this car and move along with our Meekum series and our Corvette flip project, and we're gonna retail it in another video. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. It's been a long time since I fixed some cars. This is how my channel got started, with DIYs. Let's get going. So here we have a 2006 Chevy Corvette C6 convertible with 94 thousand miles the color combination is amazing it has brand new tires it runs well six liter v8 with 400 plus horsepower electronic doors automatic transmission but when we start the car we have a check engine light on that does not go away now i purchased this car red light from auction meaning it is sold as is i own it i have to figure out what's wrong with it i have to fix it the other issue is I have someone coming tonight that wants to purchase this car for $14,000. And in order to do so, I have to fix that check engine light myself. I don't have a garage. I have to DIY it all on my own with just what I have in here. Now, here are my tools right here. This is my at-home workstation. And as you can see, I have a Think Car scan tool. Yes, I do have cheapy handheld scan tools, but I don't know a lot about that car. I wanna do a full deep diagnosis and really check into the engine, the transmission, the body control modules, make sure that injectors are good. I wanna know that that car is decent before selling it. So we're gonna use our Think Car Scan tool in today's video. And below this Viper, I actually kind of have a lift, kind of. I'm gonna get on my back and burn my arms and cut my knuckles up for the first time in a long time. But first I have to go get my kids, run some errands, and I'm gonna hop back into getting these out and the Corvette in. A few hours later. Usually you see me buying cars, selling cars, detailing cars. Today I got my gloves on. I despise working on cars, but thanks to my Think Car Scan tool, I'm gonna scan this car, do a full diagnostic readout on this vehicle, and then see if we can fix it and hopefully try to sell it tonight. Somewhere in here I have my scan tool. I get people asking me all the time what products I recommend. I have this right here, this Think Car Scan tool. Now, I've already cleared the light once and driven it back from West Palm Beach, and honestly, it comes right back on. It's not even quick. It's I, I clear it, shut the car off, turn the car back on, it comes right back. So I have this in car scan tool right here. It's like a tablet size. It's also Bluetooth and magnetic. So this pops off right here. It plugs into my OBD port, and then I have this. Now it also has an ethernet cord. It has bus can and scan adapters. It does everything. I can reprogram things. It works off a of battery. You can see how many different adapters it has. It can save, it can print. I really like the scan tool. So let's see what our check engine light is on for. Right down here. There we go. You can see that's plugged in. I'll power on my Think Car scan tool. I can enter the VIN manually or it can do it on its own. So if I click here, we'll do an auto search. So you can see it is currently doing a VIN scan. It has already connected to the Bluetooth scanner down below. Here's the VIN of the car, 2006 Corvette. It is currently doing a diagnosis. And here we go. Now we can do an automatic search, manually select model, VIN. Let's do an automatic search. Do you want to read the VIN automatically? Yes. You can do a GM diagnosis. Turn ignition on for push to start vehicles. Pre is wrong. So we're going to shut the engine off but we want key on, so key on, engine off. So yes, there we go. We are now going to do a system scan. System scan, process in progress, 4%. We're gonna do an entire scan. I don't wanna just know what the check engine light's on for. I wanna check the body control module, the engine control module, the transmission control module, and see what's going on with this vehicle completely. You can see here we're at 96%. I can scan through the electronic brake control module, the SRS supplemental restraints, CD changer, the digital radio, exhaust, Lost flow control module, folding top module, which we just discussed, head up display it will check. So it goes through every option of the entire 
vehicle. Now I just clicked on a health report, so it's going to do a diagnosis of everything that the vehicle just found that it is equipped with. Now here's what's cool. If you're buying vehicles, if you're out there shopping for cars, you're looking to purchase cars to buy and sell, this thing is amazing to have because my cheapy orange scan tool that cost me $40 said there was one coat on, I cleared it, the light came right back on. If I brought this to look at vehicles, look at how many faults, an engine fault code, a body control fault code, a digital radio fault code, driver door module fault code, driver position module fault code. Now this car did have a dead battery, so it definitely had some low voltage at one point, which could have triggered a lot of faults in a lot of the systems of the vehicle. We have since replaced the battery, so we're gonna clear everything out and drive it anyway, but I do wanna just see what it says. Look at folding top module, it checks everything. We are at 100%, so the vehicle has communicated with everything. We have a remote control door lock receiver code, a radio code. Now again, remember I had said that it had a very low voltage in the battery. It just ended. Now very low voltage in the battery could have triggered a lot of these things. Engine control module has found a PO449, which is an EVAP emission vent solenoid control circuit. Now what that means is number one, it could either be the vent valve solenoid itself or there was a circuit. It is not getting 12 volts all the way to the solenoid. This was a $50 part. I'm gonna get under the car and we're gonna check all the wiring near this sensor and then we're gonna replace the solenoid as well. Now, as soon as I clear that check engine light, if I shut the vehicle off and turn it back on, that check engine light comes right back. So there absolutely is a circuit shorted somewhere. We're gonna replace this and check for those shorts and clear everything out. If that light doesn't come back on right away, we have fixed the issue. Now, what else is going on? See, we had said circuit voltage low but below threshold, lost communication with receiver, circuit low, air conditioning communication. So it seems like communication errors, data link high, antenna device voltage. Now, a lot of those issues are exactly what I said, low voltage items. If I had just brought my cheapy scan tool with me, I wouldn't have found any of this. And I also wouldn't be able to clear any of these things out. So we're gonna replace that solenoid right now and then we're going to clear everything out. Now, I know that we have a tire pressure light on, probably dead batteries, lost communication. So it definitely has dead batteries in the sensors for the tire pressure monitors, but we have a great transmission control module. The braking system is fine. The passenger presence system is fine as well. So it just seems like it's short circuit and a P0449 for this vent valve solenoid. We're gonna replace this and then clear everything out and check it over again. We have our jacks in place now. We're gonna lift the car up. Ooh, I got close. Look at how close that is. Let's go up. Now, if you don't have jack stands, you can't just use a floor jack. The car will fall on you and crush your skull. If you don't have something like this, make sure you're using jack stands because this has a safety on it. So if I lift this right here, it is going to go over it's a little safety spot right here, and then I can lock it in place. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Ooh, we got a little bit of a leak. I'm gonna lower this, and then as I lower it, it should go on its safeties. There we go, so it's locked in place now. Our safeties are on, we are locked in place. I believe this EVAP vent solenoid is next to the transmission on the passenger side. I love forums, so I'm on the passenger side, rear wheel. If I go right inside the rear wheel, Behind the exhaust, there it is up above that tube. That is the vent valve solenoid. So this light is magnetic. I'm gonna stick this on. Unfortunately, everything is hot, which is my own idiocracy, if that's a word. So I'm gonna burn my arm a few times trying to replace that. Here's the uh, vent valve solenoid right here. Finally got it out. So we're just gonna swap it out and see if we fix the car. We're gonna read fault codes. Yes, I wanna clear everything out. So if I click right here, clear DTCs, you can see the light went out this time, but I haven't shut the vehicle off and restarted it. We're going to replace that solenoid first and then we're going to turn the vehicle on and see if that comes back. Everything is currently cleared out. We know that it had low voltage originally and that's why there were so many faults before. Right now it's just a driver's seat assembly horizontal center range performance and everything else seems absolutely perfect. So my Think Car scan tool has really helped me already. Okay, that check engine light came on right away before, once it was cleared, so let's see what happens now. I think we did it. It was instant, so I think we're good. Thank you. So this is the first time we've driven this car without a check engine light on, which is amazing. So thank you, Think Car, for getting this done for me. It's quiet, like 
Listen to how nice this car drives and sounds. There is no reason that these buyers wouldn't buy this car. Think car for helping me take care of our problem. See, it can just stand like that. USB plug right there. And then also connections for ethernet and for OBD2, CAN, bus, all kinds of ports. And it comes in this case right here. So everything I need that would be equivalent to like a $5,000 tool with snap on or other brands this does all of it as well it includes like injector pulse if you want to check that you can check cylinder misfires it's really really elaborate and the other benefit is free lifetime upgrades so you can do free unlimited lifetime upgrades anytime there's an upgrade to a car to a vehicle to the year make model or to the software it's a free lifetime upgrade with think car which is great most of the scan tools that are this elaborate and helpful charge you per upgrade per software update and upgrade so that's nice too there's a link in my description if you're ever thinking about getting a scan tool like an actual computer tablet that would help diagnose everything in your vehicle, think car is where it's at. So it is 10.30 at night on a Monday night. Buyers, fingers crossed, are right up the road to hopefully purchase that Corvette and tow it back to North Carolina. So we're gonna go meet them 10.30 on a Monday night to go get that cheddar and hopefully get that car sold. So it is now 11 o'clock at night. These guys are Corvette guys through and through. So they come down to Florida every few weeks. They buy a couple Corvettes. What's cool about that one, 2000 FRC, so fixed roof coupe. It looks like a Z06, Z06 wheels, Z06 uh, coupe, but it doesn't have the side spoiler. It doesn't have the Z06 badges. So it's an LT LS1350, which is kind of neat. They only made that for two years. And then you have a standard coupe. Um, C5 as well. They didn't buy this one. They want perfect, but this is a 94,000 mile Corvette. It's not perfect. So expectations are higher than they wanted. I couldn't meet them anymore on the price. I'm asking 14.5. Uh, they offered me 13, which I said yes to. I can't take less than that. What uh, I didn't realize is that, is that this thing is a power top. I thought that was just the release for this. Apparently the power top doesn't work. It just releases the top now, but big deal. So I'll sell it as a manual top. It's a flipping manual top, but they want the power. They would have bought it if it was a manual top, but they won't buy it because the power top doesn't work and now you can only use it as a manual top, which I guess makes sense. They're buy they said their buyer's gonna want it to work, whatever. So on goes the sale, we move on. If after this video you are impressed with my work, a thumbs ups are always appreciated, but you can purchase one of those Think Car scan tools for yourself at a very fair price with the link in my description. One week later. Hey, hey, teaser, look what is not right here. The Corvette has sold since I shot this video one week ago. So in our next video, we're gonna do a comparison, wholesale versus retail. I keep telling you, it's so simple to wholesale cars. Retail makes more money. It's more difficult working with the public. Wholesale is a quick turn. So we're going to run the Corvette through the auction and see what our high bid is. And then I'm gonna list it for sale retail and see number one, how long it takes to sell it. Number two, how difficult it is with the buyers. And number three, how much more money we make when we sell that car retail. A lot of experiments in our next video. So if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe. Likes honestly really do go a long way. They're really, really helpful for us. So if you can hit the like down below, I really appreciate it. Subscribe to follow along with the channel. And if you wanna get a notification for the next video we make, you can hit the bell. Thank you very much to Think Car for today's video and helping me solve my problems. If you wanna to scan tool like the Think Car for yourself, there is a link in my description for you to get one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later. Adios, nice open spot and cash in my hand. Use it for the next video. See you later. Oh, 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 oh,